We'll go back. All right, time to go search for Alpha now. No faces are known to me. What business have you at the rookery? My rookery. Uh, I got it. That's letter of introduction. Hmm. Signed by the Exarch, no less. Yes, I can provide you with an armor for a passage to Kalusha. I will pick you up by a friendly whelp. And there, I was expecting a chocobo. Um... Uh... Chocobo, do you hail from one of from one of Norrant's more isolated settlements, perchance? There, there are a few places where they ride the ride the ride little else, but here in the Crystaria Mounts, like the, like that gray fellow there, are far more commonly used. Hmm. Seeing as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding tomorrow, I think it best I accompany you on this flight myself. Actually, I already did. <laughs> Any zoom would. Zoom worthy of the name could do it, of course, but the Exarch sent you, sent you to me, assuring you to arrive safely is my responsibility. Gather your things and meet me at the Amaro launch. One of the junior chambers will attend to you while I ready the mounts. I'm wondering if the, the intended route is to go Alphano then Alize, but... And basically, uh, uh, the aspiring Amaro Tamer is the one to speak to to fly to Alicia. Frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge, all is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, beyond the broken earth, a city beckons. You gotta remember, whenever we go to a new area, we got to uh, pause for... Uh, uh, Ardbert, uh, um, uh, narration. Love this narration. Like, uh, when, when they had Count Edmund, uh, de Fontaine, uh, do it in Heaven's Word. It just was so good. And then Lise doing it in, in Stormblood. Anyways. We have arrived. This is the Crackshell Beach on the eastern coast of Kalusha. Uh, you should be safe here for the present. Compared to the mainland, Sin Eater's attacks are far less prevalent, and the native beasts are not any more dangerous than elsewhere. It is the people you should be wary of. By you that city in the distance, that is Yulmore, the, the island's main settlement. It rivals the Crystarium in scale, and it was, was once an ally in our battle against the Abominations. For years, the Yulmor elite were fancied themselves the masters of what remain of our broken world. They have gone as far as to offer the leaders of other settlements their protection if we bend the knee. But to say their ideals are questionable would be putting them mildly. The Crystarium is one among many who resist their heavy-handed authority, and while we're not at war... Our relationship with Yulmar is strange at best. It may be wise to conceal your ties for the Axart during your stay here, especially in the vicinity of the city. Uh, 
I am glad you understand each other. Now the axe heart has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make finding your friend a good deal easier. Listen closely. Basically, we could complete this quest and do a new one. <laughs> if you head south along the coast, you'll eventually come to a fisherman's shack. If a friend of the Crystarium lives there, a man who goes by the name of Eerborg. Ibor. Ibor uh, keeps an eye on everything that happened in Kalusha and will be, a, be able to point you in the right direction. Just hand him a sprig of thyme and it will let him know that you can be trusted. Here, this should be enough. Find your friend, Noel. Stay here with the Amaro until you're ready to return. All right. Um. Lucia. Okay. That's right about your turn. Yeah. Right near it's a little rare. That's a uh, 34-31. 34-32. End of a pier along the coast. Next to a boat. It's a gobu, but it's called something else. Probably done that to begin with. Yeah, he's a uh, Harathgar. There you have to fresh crab. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how does this work? What are you after? Fish crab? I think I got an eel in a barrel somewhere. If you you taste them, taste for them. Uh, it's in lake time. Ooh, I do love a bit of time. Chuck some in the pan, and it's like a bloody festival of flavor. Now, that, what is it I can do for you? Can't stay as there are any major upsets to report these past weeks? I'm um, looking for Alpha now. Alpha now? Aye. I know one. The one? Your young, our young champion, Sir John Trotten. You are more richer than all of them have read put together. And it's a different story. A story for them in the, them as live outside the city. Much spend every waking moment just trying to stay alive, which which makes our friend's dedication to helping others stand out to stand out all the more. I I can hazard a guess as to where he is now. Get the message to him. But you'll need somewhere quiet to meet, away from prying eyes. Make for still tight. That's the fishing village just up the path here. You're like looking for a rundown excuse for for you're looking for a rundown excuse for a tavern the locals call the Leaky Keel. Wait there and I'll see that Alphano joins you.
I got Void the Maltash Malt Stash Mal Stash Maltash something like that. Is there a Mara keep here? I don't think they have one. Oh they do. Everyone. Here's Mender, let's uh, just make sure it gears all hunky dory. That Mafina's earring get, kind of gets, gets a little laundry. Kind of like make sure everything's nice and here. Feel that. Uh, not much to do. Anything in the inventory? Okay, cool. This is your first time in the tavern. Uh, this is your first time in the tavern. It's customary to buy a drink if you're a loiter. What do you be having? Uh, ale. A fine choice. Well, what do you be pay paying with? Well, I got some gel. Well, now those are exotic. Where did you come by those coins like that? I'm sorry, dear. I don't doubt that value, but I don't have a touchstone to test the purity, and it's not about to go begging for one of the neighbors, so we'll just have to come to some sort of other arrangement. Hmm, here's an idea. There's a common, there's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables, but lately the pests have been eating more of them than we have. What do you say to a bit of extermination work? Uh, something to do while I'm waiting. Okay. I want you to squish any vermin you find there and visit the care caretaker and give him a near full for, for me for sleeping on the job. He'll be in the old silo next to the fence, snoring like as an aunt. Do that for me and you can laze about here as long as you'd like. No response. Maybe we need to knock louder. No response. Perhaps the document is hard of hearing. You're a faint squeaking from the room I'm on. Time, time to burst in and save the day, brave adventurer.
No one is home, and judging by the lack of furniture that hasn't been for some time, the nod at scraps of vegetables on the floor suggests rats have taken up residence in their absence. Welcome back, dear. What did that good-for-nothing caretaker have to say for himself? Uh, there was no caretaker. Gone? Hmm. Must have left to join the rest of the hopefuls. Huh? In Gate Town. Outside Yomor? You don't have a clue of what I'm talking about, do you? And here I was thinking you were another dreamer. Well, never mind all that. Take a seat wherever you like, dear. You've more than earned it. I'll even throw in another drink on the house. How is business today, Mistress Thever? Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. Tis good to see you, my friend. barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, well, Fino, you really are a dear. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? Seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsuyu. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Me? I was more worried about you, actually. Now we lost you. Alizé said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. But I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. Well, I came and decided to seek out Alizé, and here's what we had. Exposition! <laughs> I forgot. Exposition. That's my thing. Exposition. I see. But the Exarch and Alizé told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. which can only mean one thing, Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Mm. Mm. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped, but so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means and thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course.
In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmore. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? Oh, you bet. And so we take to the road once more. Didn't, didn't the Mr. Seba request that we, like, stick around to mind the tavern? Not that much is happening right now. Let me turn it down now. Assuming you have no objections, let us make our way directly to the city outskirts. If if we time our arrival just right, we'll be lucky enough to see why I have yet to set foot in Yulmore, despite my best efforts to do so. Come, from here we must head west and then cross the small bridge. I feel like I'm going faster than the first time I went through here when I was uh, riding a uh, was a row on a uh, on Maggie. Kalusha seems peaceful, does it not? Almost familiar. I am certain I had a similar impression at the Crystarium. Even in our distant world, people are much the same. To think that whomever Whenever a calamity struck the source, a reflection such as this one, with all of its culture and history, has been erased from existence. No! Get away from me! Over there! Quickly, summon the trouble. Oh, thank the fates! You look out! Maniac Madam. My poor heart. Thank you, young sir. Oh, are you all? Ah, there you are. In my haste, I lost my bearings. I see you have the situation well in hand. Find work. Are you all right, madam? 
Oh, just a few bruises from where I fell. Nothing compared to what was in store for me before this brave soul came to my rescue. I honestly thought I was done for. My feet are not so swift as they once were. I knew there was no one left to hear me scream. I thought I'd let that stop me. <sighs> I should probably leave my old house behind and queue up outside you more with the rest of them. Doubt those fancy lords and ladies would welcome an old crone like me still. Even a shack near the gate it has to be safer than staying here. One would hope. Either way, I suggest you avoid wandering alone, lest you make the Sydney's task even any easier. Thank you again. You saved my life. And now I'm sure a strapping lad like you has little fear, but I wouldn't linger long in this place. There's not to be had here but cobwebs and memories. Tis as the lady says, many in these parts have abandoned their homes to live in Yulmore's chateau. Should the Sin Eaters descend upon this region, there are precious few with the strength to fight them off. Speaking of which, what would you have what have you been told about these monsters? Exposition Ah yes, Alize has been quite qualified to speak on the subject. Compared with Amarang, Kalusha is almost a haven, but as you saw, we cannot let our guard down. Had we arrived just a few minutes later, the Sin Eaters would have claimed another victim. Still, we have won a small victory this time at least. Now, shall we pass on? We need to return to where the road forks and follow the path that leads west. I want to say this has voiceover. I believe it's a cutscene. I'll turn it up in any case. That gate up ahead is known as the Open Arms, and Yulmore itself lies beyond. This, meanwhile, is the aptly named Gate Town. The dwelling place of the many desperate souls who hope to be chosen to live in the city proper. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Brought a new friend, eh? <laughs> I'll bet you got a trick or two up your sleeve. Maybe even three. Care to show me? He's not here to compete. Leave him be. What? I was only making conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please! It's left and right. Two ladies in Jester costumes. Greetings to our hopeful petitioners, one and all. Yulmore extends its warmest regards. 
a jongleur. Maybe? I don't know. I can only speak with a outrageous French accent. I cannot speak French myself. And I think it's supposed to do because we have Le Vieux. Le Vieux. Which kind of is the same, but doing more. Uh, what do you expect? I don't know. That's the way it goes. In any case, this is supposed to be, be the equivalent of the Pirate Kingdom in Vilbrin. And then it kind of slips on the Minza, but. Uh, quite a different. different aspect. It's different than the first, it's not the same. I mean, it's called Kalusha, it's at Lenosha. I mean, kind of the same. Lenosha, Kalusha, whatever. Let it be known that a lady of distinction wishes to dine on Fish Divine. We seek a master culinarian who can guarantee seafood perfection. Dazzle the matron with your delicious dishes and life in the city will be yours to enjoy. Even on days when fish is not on the menu! Who among you will answer the call? Name yourself or another? We might not at all! <laughs> fish, is it? <laughs> Was there anyone? What about that girl? Do you recall how I said Yulmore was a centre of power and authority? Well, that is not the only reason for its fame. It is also known as the City of Final Pleasures. The noble and the wealthy who survived the Flood gathered here to live out the rest of their days in decadent abandon. A poor man could sooner pass through the Ivan Needle than Yulmore's gates. The only way the common folk can enter this perverted paradise is if they fulfil the whim of one of the privileged and so they are picked over like market produce. Ha ha ha! What a catch! We'll not be throwing this one back! Having seen your all too obvious charms, we welcome you with open arms! Come! Join us in the city of splendor and live out your life in an ecstasy of endeavor. Ah! Oh, just look at those expectant faces. What could you possibly be waiting for? Well, well, what have we here? An extra share of meal to celebrate our newest resident! For you! Oh, hello! Enjoy! Thank goodness! Oh, Maria! Meal is a foodstuff which Yulmore routinely doles out to the people of Gate Town and apparently a staple for its citizens as well. Many here rely on it to survive in these times of scarcity. Yet the whole arrangement just seems... Well, let us just say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. That wasn't ominous, not at all. I that you understand why my attempts to enter the city thus far come to naught. The dubious privilege of residency must be won by a contest with ever-changing rules. They say this policy has been in place for the past two decades, ever since Yulmore's current ruler came into power. Yet, from what I've seen, it does more harm than good. Not only does it distract people from our shared struggle against the Sin Eaters, it robs them of their self-sufficiency. I have tried to propose ways they can improve their lot, but my words invariably fall in deaf ears. The attitude is so entrenched now. I worry that, well, perhaps we should take a turn around De Gate Town. You should take a turn around Gate Town and judge the situation for yourself.
Preoccupied petticoat. Just look at it. Can you imagine a more beautiful city? Every day I dream of a life that waits for me inside those walls. Oh, will they ever pick me? Oh, here it is. Get to make your courage. Wait, do I have in Kalucha? I have three, just two more because the entire upper portion of this map is currently inaccessible. Yay. Although if you have a friend that ha like has already gone through this, has like a uh, passenger flying mount. Oh, bubbling cook pot. Large pop bubbles from the flames, pale chunks, meal, you, you realize, float in the otherwise plain broth. Yeah, I was talking to him before. Still here, are you? You can't blame me for wanting a slice of your most pie, if you ask me. You can ditch that shower face brat and make a home for yourself here. Gate town's not as much as to look at, I, but at least it's safe, and the meal is the best thing I ever tasted. Me all, not meal. The M E A L, it's M E O L, so it's me all. Me all. All. You've seen what Gaetan has to offer. These people can no longer fend for themselves. It's become just dependent on handouts of meal and believe Yomo is the answer to all their woes. Yet, no matter how I frame my encouragement, they seem unwilling, they unable to conceive of any other way of life. Still level 70 quests. <laughs> level 72. Unlike everything. Uh, this pu prove of Yomar? It's difficult to make a final judgment without first seeing the city's inner workings. Mayhap it is uncertainty, which always makes me feel so ill at ease here. Not that masses. Uh, however unjust the system seems to be, if these people claim to be content with their lot, it is hardly my place to criticize their choices. But take that elderly lady you rescued. Does it not seem that those who have chosen to forgo Yulmore's lingerie, the dress, are doomed to suffer for their independence? In the, end, in the end, they are all but forced to seek refuge in Gate Town, and so hamlets and fields across the, the island are left empty and unattended, hastening the region's descent into ruin. Nay, I am not convinced that Yulmore's generosity truly served serves the best interests of Kalusha's people. I am not so naive to think that there is some miraculous situation solution to all of this, yet I cannot help but frown at the sight of hard-working villagers struggling to survive, even as the chosen few rejoice at being plucked from poverty by the hand of a capricious noble. There has to be a better way. I will not know, I will not know for sure, however, to, until... We have taken these long-delayed steps through Yulmo's gates. It is fortunate that you arrived when you did, Eskos. I have been working on a scheme to insinuate myself into the city, and if all goes to plan, it would soon come to fruition. There is a beast tribe who makes its home in the seas surrounding the island. The Ondo, they're called, though you and I know them as Sahagan. 
For the most part, they keep to themselves in the ocean gr grottos and barely have dealings with land, land dwellers. But as Tataru took such great pains to impress upon me during our stay in K Kugane, business, favors, business favors the bold, and so I reached out to them. I duly discovered that the Ando are, are inordinately fond of land-grown produce, fresh fruits in particular, and when I offered to procure some goods for them, they promised to pay me in pearls. An attractive business fetcher for any pr uh, prospective investor. Investor, would you not agree? Surely even the most jaded Yumoran lo Lord would have time for a merchant who, is, who can make pearls from plums and pumpkins. Yes, I have come a long way since my days of buying samurai swords without first negotiating a price. Hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Half switch. Yay. My appointment with the Ando is due to take place in a few hours. I just need to collect the produce and meet with them on the shore. Might you help me make the exchange? You can on me. By the way, I love those rings. Those, those like, finger things. I don't know why I like them. I just think they're cool. Excellent. I'll be glad for your company. First things first, then, we must pay a visit to Moshimoa, or Moshimoa, my supplier, and write. Come, it's just to the northwest of here. Somebody was spying on us. Welcome to Right. Back to the Amaro Keep. Tune to the Aether Ray. And talk to Mushamora. There's something I could do for you, my friend. Good day to you, Mushmo. This is my associate, Eskos. We are here to collect the produce I've purchased. Uh, I loaded your lackey up with the goods not long ago. My lackey? I know of no such person. Mr. Lad, short blue hair? No, he said he'd come on your behalf, and since he seemed to know all the details, I just assumed... I found it. Somebody must have been eavesdropping on our conversation. If this Miss Charlatan was here, here not long ago, we can't have gone far. We should split up and search the area. We find a vantage point to the south side of the town. I shall take the west. Oh, 
Mr. Laura, also known as Makute. I think we found him right here. Wait, wait. There you go. You've located your quarry. That's a ghost. Any signs of him? Yeah, he's over there. You have a keen eye. Let us move in before he makes a good his escape. Okay, I'm gonna give this guy a little more time to to do his thing, kind of like split. We're gonna actually just uh, do a little practice. Pop up my party. I'm trying to give him an alpha out here. here. All right. Uh, attack! I'm gonna give one speed a. I haven't done any battle. Mm. Oh, oh, be out, be out. Turn up volume. All I said was, there you are, so. You can hear any better. Oh. The thief who claims the harvest on my behalf, hand it over. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Forgive me. I just, I have to get into the city. I have no family and all my friends have already been chosen. I don't trust this guy. He's got the same exact hairstyle that I have. No one here gives a damn about me. When the meal gets handed out, I'm lucky if I get a smell of it. No matter what I do, they won't call out my name. I'm so tired, I'm so bloody hungry. I thought maybe I could steal your idea. Get in that way. What is your name? Kai Shear. Tell me then, Kai Shear. Must it be your more or nothing? What of the Crystarium? They may not offer charity, but you would be fairly compensated for any work you did. No, no, it has to be your more. That's where all my friends are. We made a promise that we'd live together in paradise. Alpha no, don't you dare. Alpha no. My deal with the under at the clave. Listen carefully, and I shall tell you my plans for the business and how best to arouse the Ulmoran's interest. You'll give me your place, just like that. Let me demonstrate what Asagos is doing right now. Really? Essigos would not deal with this. It's like, look, I understand your all your friends are there, but sometimes you have to do priorities, such as you know, life, and sometimes you need to work for it. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a warrior of li I'm the warrior of life. I, I'm like the best fighter there is. But you know what? Do you know how much I made all this money? Because I've beaten enough fucking faces is to, to earn this money. 
I earned this with my hard work. I took on difficult jobs and that's why I did it because I could do, do that. I knew what I needed to do. I worked for a living. I made this money. Why do you think I have a million yell? Yeah, I probably could, like, based off of other things, get make a lot more. But I work for this, damn it. Damn it. And the Crystarium's a great place to actually allow you to work for it, get the money you need, and be able to live well. Maybe not great, but well enough. And it's a nice place. I saw the place. I mean, I got an apartment there. It's great. I love my apartment. I'm giving you a chance, nothing more. What comes of it is entirely up to you. I understand. Oh, thank you, thank you! Alpha, no, it was a really a good idea. This was but one path. There will be others. But for young Kai Shia, it was the difference between life and death. I mean, you, you gave him another option, the Crystarium, which is probably the better option. He's young, dumb. I do not regret my decision. Yet I will admit that a part of me wonders if it was for the best. I will tell you, no, this was probably not for the best. You know, we could have used this deal, struck it, we'll get in, get out, get information, it would be great. But no, you had to go be charitable in this case. Was it really charity that you did, especially considering all of the things that you think about Yulmore right now? I think I agree, agree with the Stinian sometimes about you. We strive to bring swift salvation to this world. That countless lives might be saved, not least your own. Even if it came at the cost of one man, should I have forged on regardless? Half an hour. Sometimes people need to learn things the hard way. And don't get me wrong, I, I understand. You had, had some sympathy, you, you, you got pity. I don't know what you had with that, with them specifically, but really, well, hopefully we can figure out something to fill this in. But I'm letting you figure that out. Well, I suppose you figured out the first one. I'm just not going to help. I'm just going to, like, be around and such. And, uh, I'll just follow you. I'll give you a chance because you're my friend. Been through a lot ever since, you know. Well, you know. Quite possibly. I mean, you better hurry up and think of a new plan. Indeed. We will find another way. I promise you. <sighs> All right. Shall we return to right then? Better play. Is that? I can't be sure, but I, I think someone's in trouble. Come on, they may need our help.
All right, quick, quick check here because let me look at my map. Oh okay, yeah, hold on. Hold that thought. I think either way would have worked. Ah, there it is. Oh, you know what? I bet we were like right over here or something like that. Hey, can I? Looks like I could. S can I? Like swim over there? Oh no! Invisible barriers. Why do you have to make it so hard? Oh, well, this may be faster. We'll see. Like, why am I getting, like, Dark and light when all there is is primordial light. I don't need to see, really see any clouds. I should take care of the Western's injuries. <coughs> Mercy. Mercy, I beg you. Huh? Breathe easy, sir. No harm will come to you here. The poor man is shivering. I'll pray keep it on him while I get a fire going. I thought for certain I was dead. How am I to repay this kindness? We'll settle for the tale behind your current predicament. Why don't you begin by telling us your name? Uh, Tristel. I was invited into Yomo to work as an artist. Oh. A wealthy couple took, uh, took me in to paint pictures for them, and when my style proved Contrary to their taste, they just as quickly turfed me out into the street. I was left penniless and patronless, a grave sin in Lord Vothry's city. Within days, they had brought me before the man himself, and he asked me what I meant to do. Dejected as I was, I told him I wished to leave. Little did I know how soon he had granted me my wish. They flung me over the balustrade into the goddamn ocean. From there? How How were you not dashed to pieces? Don't ask me, like I suppose, though if you hadn't found me when I did, I wouldn't have counted for much. Monstrous. And the citizens condone such barbaric punishment? Oh, without a second thought? When Lord Vothery passes judgment, no one so much as blinks, let alone argues. And you're more, his word is law. The more I hear about you, the more determined I am to see what waits within its walls. 
I shall bend all my thoughts towards securing another way into the city. There must be something we can do. But first, we should convey Tristral to the, the shelter of the village. Far or no far, he needs to be out of this chilly coastal air. Away into the city? Back or right, so I can just, like, teleport there. This is why you attuned to Aetherix. I wonder what the haste lot or has to low. Be careful around here, Traveler. We're we've humans, Asgard's monsters, and all sorts of nasties prowling the outskirts of town. It's a chore just to keep our stores being raid from being raided. I wonder what Tristel will do now. Praise God, my deep gratitude. I owe both my life. And if you'll permit me, I would assist you with your attempt to enter Yulmor, insofar as I'm able at any rate. To be frank, the thought of sending my saviors into that awful place makes me sick to my stomach, and since it's plain you've set your minds to it, uh, you should take this. It's my favorite paintbrush. You'll know when the elites are never satisfied until they get exactly what they want. And if I'm not mistaken, the couple I mentioned will be looking for someone to replace me. If you make a show of owning such a well-used brush, you may be able to convince people you have the talent for painting. Are you certain? This is your livelihood. I cannot just deprive you of such a treasured possession. I give it gladly after all you've done for me. Besides, I can't... I don't think I have the heart to paint anymore. As to what I'll do instead, I honestly haven't decided, but I, I shan't stay long in this place, not with that city brooding over me. Nay, I'll move on to a new lens and a new profession. I'll keep you in my prayers from now on till my dying day. There we are. Academicer. <laughs> We're still at level 70 quests. <laughs> and I'm currently all, all my the, the four classes that basically because of role quests that I'm leveling are all at 72 or 73. So I'm feeling okay splitting the MSQ XP here. They say kindness is its own reward, but Tristel has repaid us with a gift as timely as it was unexpected. We will, however, need to act upon his advice before another painter steps into the, the vicinity. Thankfully, I do have some modest skill with a brush, and nothing approaching that of a true artist, of course, but enough to play the role. I should, I should hope, would hope. I don't suppose you remember when he made uh, drawings of Gosetsu and Yigiri, and they were amazing. <laughs> As for you, hmm, well. If you don't mind taking a subordinate role, mayhap you could pose as my assistant. Eh, I suppose. And settled. All we need to do now is return to Gate Town and await the next appearance of those vile justices. Offline content. Uh, do these... Uh, Things because we want to be ready to fly when we finally get all the flying. <laughs> Sometimes it's getting through the MSQ, so.
Are you done with my coffee already? I am. Okay, I got another beverage. Uh, I'm guessing, a, if I remember correctly, cutscene with voiceover, uh, or voice acting. Or maybe not. Here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention once more. What a day it's been for, for the folks at your door. We welcome a peddler who made pearls from plum, and now we've placed a painter of a plum. So come along and don't be slow. It's time to let your colors show. A painter? I can paint. Portraits, at least. Landscapes and still lives are so rarely commissioned these days. Oh, oh, I thought I spied some new faces in the crowd. What fortune that you should feel at ease around an easel. What proof have you of your prowess? Any masterpieces on your person? Sadly, no. Without I, Everything I paint is soon sold, such as the life of a working artist. I have only my brush to testify for me, though you will note that it has seen no small amount of service. Oh, ho, ho. Mm hmm. Flex of paint, both old and new, a tool such l much loved and much used. Not a prop to be conjured by the on the harp. Very well, come with us, and we'll put those talents to the test. And who is this hanger on? Well, wisher or parasite? Why, this is my assistant. He whose unfailing support allows my art to flourish. I will go with him or not at all. Per recite, then. We shall leave this fate in the hands of your new employer. It will matter not to wit to us. We'll have filled our latest vacant space. We retire to you more sweet embrace. Yeah, meow. Oh, mercy me, the meal! We almost took our leave without leaving a loving token. We must empty the sack so we make our way back. is beyond us. The lament of all but saints and fools, and the comfort of the lords and ladies of this accursed place. Once they held fast against the madness, only to embrace the coming cataclysm and delight in the end of days. And that increased volume for narration from Ardbert. Or perhaps for them alone, the promise of eternal pleasure really does hold true. Mental note, whenever that happens, always continue having the volume up for the entire cutscene. Anyways. Donia. Donia. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the city of final pleasures. Feel free to weep at its magnificent. No, not even a single tear. Moving right along, then. 
Our first task is to register you as residents. You, you know, make it all nice and official. We'll smooth, we'll smooth the way, so you just need to put on your happy faces and head through to joyous halls. The Bureau of Immigration is in the first room on the left side of the passage. Declare your name and occupation in a nice, loud voice. The clerks will tell you where to go from there. Oh, and pay no mind to those folks off to the side of the road. Much like the hopefuls of Gate Town, they haven't earned the right to enter the city proper. If, however, you've enjoyed basking in the envy of your fellow man, then by all means, take your time. But why waste another moment? Go! Enjoy the beginning of your new life in paradise. Bureau of Immigration, was it? I suppose we better show ourselves will willing for the time being. Okay, so let's do a little thing. There's an Aether shard. There's also a couple more down here. I am obsessed with Ethernet shards. So before... And they said, well, you don't have to go in right away. <laughs> Let's find this. Get that one. Okay. Uh, and because we're technically inside Yulmore. Oh, hey, it's the Morrow Keep. Back to the Morrow Keep. Nothing. All right, so a plot. Where are you Over there. Old door. Left. Joy's Hall. We're trying to go. Oh. Further in. Immigration officer. Welcome to you, more oh, fortunate friends. May I have your names? I am Elfino, an artist, and this is Essigos, my assistant. Ah, yes, I was informed of your imminent arrival. You're fo you can forego the usual interview and begin processing your registration papers forthwith. Now, the citizens of Yulmar are divided into two classes. There are the free, who are blessed with the favor of Lord Valtry, and the bonded, who work in the employ of the free. You will be joining the ranks of the bonded. Your duties are to serve a patron in the capacity of which you are chosen. In your case, painting pretty pictures. Should your patron dismiss you for any reason, you will find another sponsor among the free or accept work as a general laborer. I see. And might you tell us something of the patron we are to serve? The two patrons, actually. Chai Nuz and Dula Chai. A mystical couple whom, whom, often, whom of, most often refer to as the Chais. They are both gentle souls, but I would ask that you conduct yourself with respect and humility for your own sake as much as, much as theirs. Now, a moment, please, while I complete the relevant paperwork. All is in order. These are your registration documents. Take these papers next door and submit them to the clerk. Once you have been stamped, you'll be officially you will officially be you more in citizen. Enjoy your new life in paradise.
Welcome to the Bureau of Registration. Papers, please. What have we here? Uh, Alphano Artist, Eskos, Artist Assistant, to be employed in the service of Lord China's and Lady Dula Chai. Yes, everything seems to be in order. Registration is hereby approved. I think it's best that you deliver, we deliver you to the Chai residence before... <sniffs> hmm. Oh dear. Oh, you smell hideous! Did you crawl here through a ditch? It's like an unholy miasma of dust and sweat in the musk of some unwashed beast. Proceed directly to the delusiary next door and scrub yourselves clean. Use whatever showers are free. After you've rinsed away that stench, you'll, you'll want to splash yourself with this perfume. Liberate, liberally. Once you've made yourself presentable, then we may proceed to the Chai residence. Koine, the guard at the, by the stairs, will give you directions. <laughs> I realized we were so aromatic. <laughs> Next door. Uh, Alpha now? Are you are you coming? Excuse me while I you know it's the showers and use. That's on ninety oh nice. Got a couple free showers. Put my armor to the side. Or just put my armor in hammer space. Oh, nice. Probably spend about 20, 30 minutes standing in the nice water being like, oh, I haven't had a shower in a while. All right. Here, make sure. Clean. All right. Time to sit. Alpha now? Um. Ah, uh, there you go. Apply, you apply the perfume as directed, and the delicate scent of roses fills the air. Uh, Alpha now? Uh, oh, you showered and dressed already. Have you... Is it not... That's to say... It seems rather... Exposed to everyone's ablutions. Was it not? Hurry up and shower, Stinky. Would Justinian say Alize would... No, no, as it goes to say, hurry up and shower, Stinky. Fine, <laughs> just a quick rinse then. You smell rosy now. Well, that was bracing. I believe the lingering smell of the road has been successfully expunged. Shall we go and present ourselves to our new patrons then? Look, I know that that, that small people don't have like a, necessarily have higher pitch voice. Probably heard several times through through many of the the actual voiceovers for Lalafels. I just think that Essegos would kind of have it, but he'd be so gruff and, and, and punctual as like, I will beat your face! Anyways, fine. Characterization. If you're looking to present yourselves to the Chires, are you? Let me explain how the city's laid out then. Imagine three layers, one on top of the other. This layer here is the buttress. Above us is the understory, where the military and the, has its headquarters. And above that, we've got the canopy, which is where the free citizens of Yulemore spend their days. So if you want to find your new patrons, you'll need to cl keep climbing until you run out of stairs. Then look for the Grand, Dame, Grand Dame's parlor. They'll be in there, likely as not. 
่ะเดี๋ยวเราจะเปลี่ยนไปเลยนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะเปลี่ยนไปเลยนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะเปลี่ยนไปเลยนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะเ
Might it then be permissible for my assistant to explore the city he has so longed to see? Out of gratitude for his priceless contribution to my art, I thought it only fair that I make this humble request on his behalf. This ghost is thinking. Uh, let's open it kind of lean on sick. Oh, did you ever hear of such devotion? Of course your assistant must have his wish. He shall be free to roam to his heart's content. Uh, well, thank you, my lady. Isn't that right, darling? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, of course, dearest. Qu quite right. Well, we got her in. Not that you have the opportunity to experience your more, I suggest you make the most of it. Explore the city, top to bottom. In other words, I would, I would start with the canopy and go from there. Try wandering around the market stalls, mayhap. Such places are usually filled with colorful characters, only too eager to share local gossip with a friendly visitor. I would appreciate it, of course, if you would share your discoveries with me in turn. We'll both learn as much as possible from our new um, piece of residence. So, so now do I can I can I do uh, no? Uh. Oh, hello there. Fresh register, are you? You seem a little lost. I'm just kind of like uh, exploring the city. Well, it is lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, speaking of acquaintances, you haven't happened to have run into my intended in your wanderings, would you? Big, strong lad, long hair tied back. He was escorting me on a second shopping errand when I realized I dropped my handkerchief, and now I've been waiting here all alone while he's been off searching for it. I'm not terribly fond of being alone. If we do see him, I would oblige if you would pass on this message. Forget the silly handkerchief and return to my side at once. No! Oh. Hey, what? Hey! Ah! What the hell are you doing? Oh, I can turn the volume down. Here we are. Wicked white. That was too close. Thank you, friend. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. I was trying to rescue my lady's handkerchief, you see. The wind must have blown over the edge, but luckily it's, it caught on something. I thought it could just stretch out far enough. Uh, you risk that? Like, eh... Uh... You risk your life for a scrap of cloth? It's not just a scrap of cloth. Not if it belongs to her. I would risk my life and more to spare my mistress such a single moment of sadness. And when I first came to your moor, I thought only of improving my life, lot in life. But there was so much more to the city than wealth and plenty. And plenty. There is no war here, no conflict. The residents all treat each other with warmth and respect. My mistress has been ever so kind to me, and I think I have no other place in Kalusha where I would rather be, could possibly be happier. <clears throat> Sorry, I might have gotten a little carried away. I find it hard to stop when I first when I start counting my blessings these days. Please. You should come with me to meet my lady. Once she hears of your deed, you'll be witness to a generous first generosity first name. Yeah, she's been looking for you. She wants you back at the side. But what? Lonely, you say? Curse my clumsy feet! I must return to her immediately. That's weird. My tenant told me everything. I'm so very grateful you were there to offer your assistance. Uh, 
they value him highly then. As if you were a member of my own family, I would not live the wonderful I could not live the wonderful life I lead without him. We free citizens owe the bond in our unending gratitude. Mayhap in in another society our different standing would would breed prejudice or resentment, but in your more the most glorious measures in place to advert such unpleasantness. Part of that measure requires that the free surrender their fortunes. Upon registration, all of our property, financial, intellectual, and otherwise, is given over to the city. In exchange, we are provided with ample funds and commodities to live a life of pampered luxury. Being liberated from the concern of earning coin was almost has an almost miraculous effect on people's outlook. There's no rivals to compete against, only fellow residents with whom to enjoy our tranquil existence. Now, if you'll excuse us, I must see what the markets have to offer as a reward for the return of my handkerchief. Oh, I've not forgotten you, of course, a courageous messenger turned rescuer. Okay, I, th I think I'm... All right. All this talk of relying on the bonded, and I haven't given a thought as to what your duties might be. I hope I haven't interrupted your work unduly. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm pretty much off at the moment. Take a tour of the city. Tour of the city, is it? When you really want to visit the beehive, it is always buzzing with activity. <clears throat> Boku humor. Anyway, a lady by the name of Tista Bay Bai usually has a seat near the entrance. She'll gladly speak to you of any number of topics, assuming you find yourselves on her good side. By the way, why did you have the sudden change of clothes? First you were wearing some thick armor, and now you've got, like, more like cloth robes. Ah, uh, like, sorry. <laughs> Ah, tis that by. Welcome to the beehive, my little drone. Seeking the sting of excitement to liven up your day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can tell at a glance you have when folk are new to our happy colony. It's a no it's the nervous fluttering, you see. It always gives them away. Why don't you pay, play some cards to to set you at your ease, eh? A quick game of high or low is simply a matter of guessing who has the bigger hand. If you win, I grant you a single favor. That reason, within reason, of course. Interested? Uh, sure or not. Are you for the game of high or low, then? Uh, let's play. Good for you. No time like the present, I say. Three cards for you, three for me. You flip one of yours over, and I flip two of mine. Now, what's your call? Will your total be higher or lower than mine? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say hi. Going with hi then. Right, let's see what we've got. My cards add up to 11 and you have a total of 14. Yay. Congratulations, your guess was right. Hmm, usually I concede defeat at this point, but what do you say to rematch? One more win, and we'll talk about that favor. Three cards for you, three for me. You flip over one of yours, and I flip two of mine. So the strategy here is based off of the initial number. So looking at this, she's got eight right off the bat, only has one card remaining. But one of those cards could be a nine. While I only have one. Of course, she could have a, also a low number. I'm assuming that the deck is basically 
singles. So I was looking at kind of the numbers of what numbers remain out of one, two, and six. Six are the three, and I think maybe it's up to nine. I'm gonna I'm gonna say low. Although my remaining two cars could be high, I'm just gonna say low. Going with low then, right? Let's see what you got. The discrepancy of what we got to begin with. Oh shit! My cards add up to thirteen, and you have I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. Twelve. I was right. By one. It was that was a close one. Well, well. Would you look at that? I think we got a knack of this. You've got a knack for this, newcomer. Congratulations. Victory is yours. As is the prize, I promised. Come whisper in my ear then, and don't be shy. Tell old Tista what what she can do for you. That's all. How delightfully wholesome. But if knowledge is what you want, then that is what you will have. You shall have. In my humble estimation, the most wondrous thing about this town is how safe we are from the Sin Eaters. They say Lord Vothry was born with the power to command them, which means all you Morans never, ever raise a weapon in defense of the city. Was that the kind of thing you wish to know? If your itch still needs scratching, you might get a few words out of Athon over there. There's not that Mary Sot likes more than the sound of his own voice. So we got a male go go dancer. Let's see. Male go go. Female go go. Got. It. Oh, no dancer up here. Oh, no dancers up here. Either one. Okay. Two boys and a girl. Turn. What's that new to you, Molly? You say? Ah ha ha! Only just arriving and already you're looking to peel away the layers of mystery. Oh. I'm all for chatty, but you know, you need to slow down and enjoy life, my friend. I tell you what, you hop on stage and give us a dance first, and then we can, can have an, our little talk. I suppose. That's... Can you just, like, unequip? Uh, unequip. I'll leave the rings on. I'll just... Equip this. Oh, I can't. I can't unequip weapon, <laughs> weapons. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's, you want me to go go dance? I'll take off my shirt. Uh, oh, I just need to do slash dance. That's the way dance like there's no tomorrow. All right, back to having clothes on. Now that was a show. You're welcome to clam it up on stage anytime you like. <laughs> Thank you, but I got a husband. So, what was it that you wanted to ask me? Ah, uh, yes, something about our fair city. Well, I can tell you it wasn't always so peaceful as it is today. The Umoran army may be the very essence of military mind, but even our forces saw grievous losses in the wars against the Sinitas. Things changed for us oh, about 20 years ago now, when the old ruler's son came to power. He got his way... He's got his way with the Sinners. Eaters. You see... Turns them docile as house cats. I wouldn't be exaggerating to say that they, that they've become something of an ally to you more, no longer an enemy to be feared. And yet, elsewhere, there's still fools who insist on fighting their losing battles. Ha! A toast to Lord Vothry. A primary sense of the city, the Chais and Elfino will be expecting your return.
I didn't even. Probably could have come in the other entrance. Anyways. Back to the bar. Oh, you've returned from your jaunt around the city so soon. You m m needn't have hurried back. Young Alphano is yet to put brush to canvas. Huh? Where is he? You cannot rush good art, I'm told. All good artists, apparently. Ah, finally. Huh? I put together an ensemble of the garments he shows. Is this satisfactory? Oh, goodness gracious me, that ast outfit was precious, but this makes you positively dashing. You truly are a handsome boy. However, am I, t am I to decide? I don't regard this as part of your artistic process. Exactly. The lad is an artist, dear. It's not a dress-up doll. It's about time we set him to work for the reason we called him here. Must we? I do love a good painting, but I thought since we're enjoying ourselves so thoroughly. Well, I not that say as long as you... <sighs> Just make sure you give the lad time to prepare. You know who will be upset if he's not ready to paint at the moment's notice. Whatever you say, darling. So, shall we pick up, pick out some jewelry next? <laughs> Lady Chai has a very particular sense of beauty, and apparently that extends to how I should dress with painting. But this obsession of hers works in our favor. The time spent indulging those distractions is time we could use to continue our explorations. With this excursion, I would like you to delve into the layer below us and sniff about the military headquarters. I'm sure the understory has its own tale to tell. <laughs> uh, I gotta remember how to go downstairs. Oh, it's over here. By the Hot pink armored guards. I think they'd make these holes a bit bigger. Oh, the stairs. Wait, there's an Ethernet shard at the top. And for some reason, I can't attune to the Aetherite crystal. It'd be so much easier if I can do that. But the hot pink, I mean, really. I suppose they're kind of flamboyant. Uh, doors just open. Close. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Oh, hi. Plan Nutsy member. Gotta look into that. All right, just exploring. Everything's fine here. Let's look around. Hmm. That's that. Look around all you like, but whatever you do, don't lock me in here when you leave. Okay. I don't really have the key, so. What about over here? <laughs> Uh, what's wrong? You, you, you're one of the bondage, aren't you? Like me. Please, I need your help. My throat, it's... I can't sing anymore. I've been making excuses. It's just not getting any better. If my patron thinks I am of no use to him, then... Uh, 
I need you to sneak out to the derelicts and describe my condition to Theoric. Here's a list of symptoms and a hunk of meal to pay for his medicines. Please have no one else to turn to. You're rich. <laughs> you need medicines, tonics, potions, and he's uh, symptoms and some meal. All right, cure for an alien voice, is it? No, nope, no medicine will cure this. Methinks your song work has a lump in her throat. It must be cut out, excised, and even when the voice is it, even then the voice may never heal Kurt, completely. <laughs> Poor little songbird. Will they kick her from the nest, I wonder, or simply silence her chirps? Huh? Oh, my friend, you don't know? For the m many hopefuls who enter the city, very few have ever seemed to leave, even as corpses. Oh, you might see one or two fortunate, f fortunate fools hurled from the balconies, but the rest? Gone. Town of nightmares it is, not for this ship, brat. Oh, no, no. I'm content to scurry around down here and nibble at the crumbs uh, which fall from the table. This consultation is over. You have my verdict, and I have my meal. Good day. Oh, jeez. Uh, mainstay, I think it is. Um... Uh, Uh, sorry, I got no help for you. Did you get my medicine? <gasps> so that's it. What am I to do if I can't sing? Ah, oh, there you are, my sweet canary. You've been crying again. Don't tell me your voice is still not on the mend. Oh, generous sir, have mercy. You've done all I can, but even the apothecary said... Exposition. Oh, you've been suffering all this time. I am sorry, my pet. I haven't realized your affliction was this grave. But you needed fret. I'm not... I'm not reward your hours of th trilling by casting you out into the street. You are too kind, sir. But what use am I if I cannot sing? I fear the day I become more burden to you than treasure. Then I shall have a word with Lord Valthry and arrange your ascension. In that paradise where resides neither pain nor illness, will your song ring out clearly once again. Mayhap you think it is, or mayhap you think it is step too far. No, I... You would do that for me? Of course. Why, I would almost wish to hasten my own ascension, knowing your blessed instrument was waiting there to greet me. Uh... Ascension? Ah, you must be a new arrival. Allow me to explain. As you all know, the Sin Eaters exist to devour the sinful, and also do they serve to gather the souls of the innocent and shepherd them into celestial paradise. It is through Lord Vothry that we learn this truth. It is through Lord Vothry's grace that the free people of Yuma are destined to embrace salvation. We are blessed to spend our days surrounded by love and merriment until at last we are called to our final rapture. Even the bonded may find a place within that host, should their patrons deem them worthy. Lord Vothry truly is a great man, isn't he? Now, if you will excuse us, we must be on our way. May you find eternal salvation for the compassion you have shown, my precious canary.
Well, shit. I don't know about you, but it seems like either they turn you into the senior seniors or they just devour you whole or something. Needless to say, it doesn't sound like the bliss that it's meant to be. Ooh, he's been working on something. Oh, look at that. That was pretty darn good. It is good to see you back. If it had taken so long, I began to worry something had happened. I've been sketching an outline for the portrait, but nay, the child appears otherwise occupies. Will you share what your investigations have gleaned thus far? Vathri, 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 and... Uh, weird. So Lord Vathri boasts some manner of influence over the scene eaters, does he? That would explain the reverence of which he is held by the citizen. As for this ascension business, I cannot help but be put to mind that the ap mind of the apothecary in his ominous remarks. If so many folk have entered the city over the years, then where do they go? Four? Five? Okay. We're still at level 70 quests. <laughs> hmm. I take my eye off you for one moment. You're chattering away with that assistant of yours. Am I to assume the outline is done then? What in the blazes? It's so, so unflattering. Explain yourself, Alphano. Mm. Where is your artistic inter interpretation? It should invoke images of affluence and nobility and overwhelm the viewer with its boundless beauty. Oh, Jai, you stated that this portrait was to commemorate your anniversary. Your yours being a joyous union, it seemed to me that a realistic portrayal. Realistic? I don't want realism, I want perfection. A spectacle to slacken the jaws and weaken knees, to make people cry out in amazement. Now, fetch a blank ca canvas and... Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. I say, did that come from above? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. A tale to make you quiver and your noble blood freeze. There is a villain on the loose set to ruin our fair city. But our lord has got him now and his fate is will not be pretty. Yes, the hammer of justice is poised to come crashing down and one and all who want to fall, watch it fall, are invited to join his who'd watch it fall, invited to join his lordship in the offer. Malcontent, how dreadful. And this man is, is to face sentencing. That's right, in fact, is, if you're curious, might just be worth a going along and Long for the experience. The author they mentioned is part of the emergent at the level above us where Lord Rothery resides. And ordinarily, you would be barred from entering, but it seems they've been opening the doors for the next little while. The crown lift will take you up there. Better not dawdle, then.
And this alpha nose side of things is taking a little bit longer, which, and I also need to pee. So I'm going to take a quick break here, be right back. And uh, I'm going to run that, be right back, and we'll figure out what's going on. All right, let's take a look at this. I think this is might have VO. Putting the crowd up there to the alpha. Third volume. Just the kids. That's him. That's Volthry. Uh, I think he's definitely been indulgent. He is attended by Sin Eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? Uh, mercy! Mercy! By the twelve. Kaifia, what happened to you? Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. He came to us, claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. You is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. And he had the temerity to weep Please, my lord! <laughs> Anything but that! What then is a man of mercy to do? But offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Another way? Meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmore's society. But they must be fed with ether. Living ether. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. It is true that Kaishia won his place here by fraud. 
but his actions were driven only by a desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept. But to humiliate him thus? To demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmor? Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. And thus am I alone the voice of justice, and any who oppose me, villains to be punished. And people call this paradise. You were granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Painting. Oh, an artist! Then you shall paint a picture for me of Yulmore. If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. Gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds! I told you to paint me a picture! What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Can you walk? I think so. D did that little worm just insult me? Well, that was Raisin of Alphano. Hmm. Forgive me, my me. In my anger, I seem to have marched us back outside again. Though it's possibly best we leave the island altogether. I believe you've worn out our welcome in your more. In any case, I've seen enough of the world's self-proclaimed capital city to convince me that our battle against the Sin Eaters will find few allies in Kalusha. I will accompany you back to the Crystarium. We need to regroup and think on new st strategy anew. Taishir, I have done you a grave disservice. You are hungry and desperate and I offered you a solution without once considering the risks inherent in you accepting it. I had but known the price you would you would be made to pay. Oh, you gave me everything I needed to make my idea work. It was me who made a mess of things, not you. And even after all the trouble I caused, I, you still stepped in and saved me. And now Lord Wathering wants us all dead. Why not come back to the Crustarium? 
I'm certain we will find work for you there, if you're willing. No. That would just be me leaning on your kindness again. I need to do some thinking. Learn how to stand on my own two feet. Very well. You must promise. You must promise you'll be careful. Your Murans may come looking for us. I'll keep my head down, don't worry. You take care too. Give me the chance to repay what you've done for me. <laughs> oh, oh, for no! For Lady Chai. What in the blazes did you do? You have the entire city looking for you. I, t I took a peek at your fun, unfinished portrait of now. Now that I had many, now I've had many a beautiful and striking picture painted in me. But there was something about your work. It was as if you had caught the very essence of our love and rendered it naked upon the canvas. It was bold and flinching, and I adored it. Please, you must come back with us and finish it again. I will speak with Lord Valthry and vouch for your character. I'm sure it will smooth over any hard feelings. I am sorry, Lady Chai. There are more important matters of which I must attend. More important? What could be more important than enjoying the days we have left to, your, to us in the, to the fullest? Pray press me no further. We are leaving, but I will not pr presume to take a gun. Take the garments you are so kind to procure for me. One moment. <gasps> I wouldn't hear of it. Keep the clothes, you silly boy. I insist. And I shall make arrangements so that you can pass through the gate without causing a stir. I expect you to come and visit. I will return. I promise you that. Outrage I witnessed must not go unanswered. The next t time we meet, I shall be better prepared to confront the corruption which hides behind the glittering facade. Alphano has struck uh, on uh, uh, Lady Chai's heart. Well, it's good it's still time to we're closer to our exit point. Thank you, my friend, for staying at my side through this whole sordid endeavor. Well, it's not quite the joyous outcome I had hoped for, our, our efforts have nonetheless answered a great, deep, great many questions. Suffice it to say, our plans for saving the first are unlikely to involve the aid of Lord Valthry and his subjects. Come, we must speak with the Axarch and chart a new course. This is far from over. To the ocular! I'm as a red mage. Because... Yeah. You have business with it, Crystal. Uh, that's the same thing. I think we're going into voice acting. Now that we have the twins together. Yay! Ah, it's good to be back amongst friends. Not to mention my dear sister. I have not seen her in some time, but I gather she is keen to press on with our plans, as I am. 
You have seen quite a lot of the first yourself now, more than enough to appreciate the scale of the obstacles we face. Let us lay our discoveries before the Exarch can discover what must be done. And so you return. Have you gained a better understanding of the crisis now faced by the first? Better is not the word I would use. Some lands may have been spared the flood, but the survivors live only to suffer. There seems no end to the horrors inflicted by the Sin Eaters. Indeed. Those abominations are a calamity in their own right. And I can well imagine how hopeless the task of eradicating them must seem to you. But after countless battles and untold sacrifice, we have identified a potential weakness. Sin Eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call Light Wardens. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a Light Warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. I have a feeling Yulmul might have something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Vorthra's command over the Sin Eaters is integral to Yulmoran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. He will not take kindly to us depriving him of such useful allies. Agreed. Thus we will need to occupy or otherwise divert his forces whilst we proceed with the business of eliminating the Wardens. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside if we are to forestall the Eighth Umbral Calamity. This is Esagos. Elagos probably would be following, so he's like, ah, uh, very follow. Your uncertainty is understandable, given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is in order. To begin at the beginning, then. In the ancient past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Though physically separate, they retain a connection to each other, and with the source especially. Now, let us assume that a given element in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. Just as water will flow from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. And such an influx of ether will of course exert a palpable influence. If the element in question were fire, then drought and wildfires might ensue. If it were ice, one might expect the weather to turn bitterly cold. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. What was once a trickle now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full, its energies amplifying the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike with enough force to shatter continents. A tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. 
Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. Present the light drowned realm of the first stands perilously close to meeting the conditions for a rejoining. It is the Sin Eaters who are to blame for the light's continued dominance. In addition to attracting their lesser kin, the light wardens I mentioned earlier radiate ether, saturating every corner of their territory with light. Even here in the flood spared region of Norvrant, their influence is strong enough to banish night from the sky. Thus, if we are to restore balance to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every Light Warden to the sword. We've been doing our best to take the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories if truth be told, apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrived. Forgive the interruption, my lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force and the village could soon be overrun. Alert the guard. We should be prepared in case the fighting reaches the Crystarium. You have command of our forces in the field, Captain, but hold off on entering the town until I arrive. That goes for Alphano and Alize as well. My lord. Pray, lend us your strength. Such a fight will provide you with far greater insight than any explanation I could offer. Holmes' switch is in the, in the north of Lakeland, so you will best make haste with your, our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium in the crossroads northwest of the Ascensor Gate, and I shall lead you there myself. For reasons, I'm going to switch. One of the, the problems with this is that because everything is so bright because of, well, you know, the light, it actually can be a little strain on the eyes. I think it's one of the reasons why I've been, like, yawning.
All set, we'll follow this road north, we'll arrive in the northern station point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. I think I can turn down the volume now. All right, here we are. We got Lena, Alize, and Alfano all right here. Almost just which is past these gates and through the woods. Tis not exactly a near neighbor to the Crystallium, but we occupy the same region. We have built up something of cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? The town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate the villagers, but there are many in, but as many as half remain. Judging by the numbers of ethers present, we have good reason to believe that a light warden leads the attack. How convenient. It seems we have our chance to slay a warden sooner than we expected. <laughs> one does not simply slay a warden. And has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? They hold more light inside them than any of the other underlings put together. It can be struck down, aye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Vile ether will, will billow outward and envelop the nearest living being, a reckless young swords, swordswoman perhaps, and turn herself into a brand new warden. Ah, well, we can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the gods stand down and allow us to engage this leader of Edith the Nome. Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. But what if? Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. Very well. Then our warden slaying party shall include myself, the Leviers. Captain Lena, and last but not least. The Warrior of Light. Formidable group indeed. Into home so we go. Once we reach the Light Warden, do not hold back. We strike to kill. So Shadowbringers has introduced a system known as Trust. In fact, we, we discuss it here. The instant dungeons encountered in the Shadowbringers main scenario quest can be completed solo alongside a supporting party of NPCs. 
To make use of this feature, simply speak with one of your NPC companions near the entrance of the instance and select the option to form a party. When forming a party, you will, will need to follow the same rule role restrictions imposed when using the duty finder. Alternatively, you can find party members via the duty finder as usual and complete the instance with fellow players instead. So I recommend I, one of the downsides to um, doing this is they don't use AOEs <laughs> at all, but these these uh, avatars, you could say, um, do mechanics. The only thing is they don't have the capability of doing mechanics and also doing damage. So there's downsides to doing this. Uh, you could probably do it quicker, faster uh, with a, a party of people. But uh, I find that doing it at least once with the trust, kind of going on the, this kind of slow method, is a good idea because based off of what your party members are doing, you can easily follow them and learn the mechanics of the fights. It's a great way to learn the dungeon, um, uh, learn the dungeon and what happens to it by having these NPCs basically is, uh, it's practically perfect. <laughs> I'll say that. So I, I find that, that that's the case I, I i agree with that so i'm gonna monk this up so let's form a party and enter your home mr switch so here's what we got by default alize alfano uh levio the levios and the crystal x are within an all-rounder which literally means he will do any role <laughs> he can be dps he can be healer he can uh tank He'll be a playing our tank. Uh, Alphano is the only one in here. So we got healers would be Alphano, who's an academian or scholar. And uh, the Crystal Exarch could can heal. They're the only two. He's the only, Crystal Exarch is the only tank. So I could tank or I can have him tank. I'm going to bunk this up. So our tank will be the Crystal Exarch. DPS are Elise and Lena, who is a dancer. Uh, so they're both kind of ranged. I'm melee, so that's that. I kind of want to do this with Lena, just because I think that would be interesting. And, you know, uh, Elise would get the chance, I suppose. Here's another thing is insta <laughs> Plus side, we're playing a DPS. You don't have to wait <laughs> wait in the duty finder. So we'll we'll be doing the trusts all the way up. Strangely enough, I've done this several times on my main, so I'm very familiar with how how this all works. Especially considering my main main's monk, um, and I'm playing monk. Although the four classes that I'm running through Shadowbreakers right now, so that I can do all the all four of the role quests, uh, all of them, um, I've done before. So technically, all of them will, will work. All right. At the volume turned down, right? I need to turn down the volume, like in my own ears. Well, it's kind of loud. There we go. That's better. Uh, of course. Uh, they won't engage until I engage or am engaging point.
So right now I'm the only one doing AoE. I'm going to kind of focus. Uh, the other nice thing about doing this by the truss is that while I don't think you get the same amount of like loot and like chests and everything that happens, but it also means that I get whatever loot there is <laughs> just by default. And if I try and make sure that I got gear for all my, um, all my characters? Actually, uh, hold on. I need, uh, I need food up. Get my, here's my food. I'll use this one. There we are. See, Alpha Nome moved out of the way of that AoE. Technically, any of the dungeons, or, or a good portion of dungeons between uh, uh, Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, uh, you can do with your squadrons, but they don't have the AI that Um, the trust has. Instead of having them, like, facing each other, could you just, like, just have them face one direction? Eggs. I'll say the Crystal X arc isn't necessarily the greatest when doing this. Uh, also, be because... Because the avatars don't do AoEs... Doing pulling pulling more than one uh, pack, like if I just like ran forward to the next pack, um, uh, would make it like harder for the trust and everything. So it's not a good idea to do that. Also, Crystal Exarch's classes. So when he, depending on what role he's doing, he has different class. So when he's uh, the tank, he uh, does, um, he's a paladin. It, when he's uh, DPS, he's black mage and white mage for um, Uh, white mage for a healer.
Because they're only doing this single target. This is taking longer to do all these mobs. But I'm doing AoE, so it'll be it's faster if, if at least there's one person doing AoE, it's faster than if I just single targeted every everyone down with the rest of the group. Uh, oh, oh, I need to do this. Oh. I'm going to install the LB. Nope. I still got it. Still there. No, I'm taking it. There. I got a better LB. No, no offense, Lita. There you are. Yeah, Lakeland goes to striking. Sadly, uh, they're item level 390. I have item level 400. It's not really much use. Once I get into to, to the later dungeons, it's going to be a little more useful. Mina doesn't do dance partner. She buffs everybody. 
with the technical finish. But for some reason, as a dancer, don't do like Lena does. Pick a dance partner. <laughs> Use close position. There's your coffer. Again, I get everything. Okay. I think the Crystal X Arc get, uh, I think I'm going to just focus on the, uh, for, forgiven disobedience. Got a little leg there. Oh, this looks like Tesslin. <laughs> no. I think I'm getting lag.
Incubator. Quick, run! Quick, we need to save them! Oh, too late. Making sure he has uh, aggro and everything first. With my mouth.
There's a cover. Why is this happening? <sighs> Light war and filia. That's a disturbing monstrosity. No! This is not good. I'm getting lag. Oh, I need to actually update a few things. I'm going to practice at this dance.
There we go. Cutscene! Kind of. Where is it? And Alize joins us. Okay, what's in the treasure chest? And Hetsy. My lord, we must withdraw. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place. Born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. blessing of light and the hero who wields it now stands before you The Warrior of Light has its uh things watch us though. Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. And night returns to Lakeland. Is that what I think it is? The night sky, as it should be. Who are you people? You killed a warden, then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower and now the sky? The legends are true.
my lord. How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, I will one day atone for that deed, but for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. As a ghost likes to fight, so it seems I have no choice but to fight. Uh, wants to fight. He's not gonna be the I will become the warrior need the the thing. No, it's like hey, it sounds like a glorious adventure, man. <laughs> On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand Garber, there is the much background. at stake here, Exarch. But why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes. But the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. There are things which we can ill afford to lose. And I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man, one burdened with many Difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Come then, my warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villagers and make our way back to the Crystarium. Lena is probably all confused. How quickly you have justified my faith in you. So many lives saved, and the sky itself her heralds our success. Single victory in a larger struggle, perhaps, but a momentous one nonetheless. And this is the first 71 quest with 1 million XP. Alright, now that we've unlocked dungeons... We will, I will be switching to Monk fully off stream. I'm going to try to keep my others within a level or two or within a level. 
so that when we get to the times of the world quests, I can go through each of the world quests on stream. We have basically completed, almost completed. I think we have, yeah. Okay. So there's literally only two quests for level 71, and then at 72 this is the next, next stage. stage. So this for the 71, and then we'll go into the 72-73 range. I'm looking at a list of the quest, the main scenario quests. <laughs> I don't think there's voice acting. Nope. Now for us, how we proceed from here. The villagers have been evacuated earlier, who evacuated leader have arrived safely at the Crystarium. They seem to be accepting their situation f for the moment. Most folks are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. They whisper and wonder if the warrior of darkness has come. It is to be expected. Essigos, I must ask a favor of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in the endeavor for the time being? Seeing the light recede from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many would be swept up in the maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should we come forth as the legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that, no matter how good your intentions, such an appearance would throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch, although my concerns are more focused on you more. It may be best if you maintain a low profile until we see how Vothri responds to all of this. Hmm. Okay. My thanks. Though we cannot freely uh, celebrate our success, pray allow, allow your heart to be buoyed by the joy of your, our citizens. Joy you surely brought into being. Ah, and I must ask the same discretion of you, Captain. "'Tis my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the city, Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown, yes? As you wish, my lord. Your penchant for mystery is nothing new, and I will encourage folks not to question this either. Although I expect to be told the whole truth of it one day. About all of you. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so I pray take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits. And to think, think you'll not even need to shutter the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all that you've done here today. But could I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the pendants? Please let Bragi know that we're, we're bringing in a number of injured and that many restoratives in the, in the markets need to be reserved for the infirmary. You got it. I, w I should stop making my way, my own way back to the Crystallium. Slowly, mind you. I wouldn't be, too, wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the exotic. I'm staying behind as well. I, there's something I need to check on in Holmitzer. We already went through the village top to bottom, Elise. Eh? We should all take the chance to rest. You included. I knew one of those eaters, and I can't just. I can't risk. Not now. So please, I wish to be left alone for a while. That means you as well, Eskos. I shall be cross if you try to follow me. I promise to find you later, when I feel myself again. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just you and me then, shall we? We do not teleport. Oh. I can meet him in the, in the crustarium, right? Yeah. I can just teleport. So instead of primordial life, we've got normal day sky. Nothing is over here. Well, the Crustarium seems relatively in order, wouldn't you say? The Exot's speech must have been reassuring to hear. On the contrary, there is something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night, night won't be quite as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to our chambers. Once you discharge your duty with to Bragi, I suggest you do, do the same. Sleep well, Eskos. I hope untroubled dreams find you and Alize both. See, I think this is the the first time when they've really talked about like a the day night cycle. Uh, I do like how they kind of incorporated instead of just someone saying you should have a rest. And then immediately have the quest. They actually have this. They show the transition of moving day to day at, at certain points, which kind of makes things feel a little more real. I. What can I do for you? Looking to buy a lantern like every other uh, stumbling soul in the city. I can't remember the Haraskar um, accent. I see. Well, Captain Lina you know, shall rest assured that our potions, a spot coming in, will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. If you carry messages from the guard, does that mean that you were there then? The battle at home is there. Uh, stalwart lad like yourself would want to pay a visit to the wandering stairs. Make himself known. I'm sure Gilnard can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Can somebody say roll quest unlock? God, I've been streaming for three hours. It was six o'clock at night. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, more beer for table two and a couple of pints of mead for table three. Oh, you're at it. Coming right up. Sorry you've rushed, on, you've rushed off your feet this evening, sir. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. Huh? Oh, that probably is a twisted sense of humor. Oh, <laughs> Hmm? Ah, to think he'd send you to me at a time like this. The first real night near a hundred years as folks all riled up and then some. And more there are the eater, eater business at Holdman's Resort. They said, say the light warden was destroyed without a goddamn trace and it was the warrior of darkness who did the deed. Ah, that's interesting. I really must apologize for Gilland. He's he's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warrior's appearance has the spark was the spark to their kindling. You know how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? 
Aye, they swarm like hungry bees around our queen. They need look no further than Holminster for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen every day. Praise the blessed shadow. No, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and then an eater would leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones who run, you run into on the road if your luck is foul. There's danger to everyone, so the settlement council puts bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them are inspired by the light ward, the warden slain even more than the most. There are other types who have their sights on the absolute worst of the strays, a class of sin eaters that have been dubbed the Cardinal Virtue. The Virtue showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the descriptions was given by survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, it's also reported to be, be as tough as light warnings, not the kind of prey you can take it down single-handedly. Our virtue hunters had all but given up, but knowing the warrior of darkness is out there, has lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at them. That Hume over there with an oversized sword is his grandson. He is in it for revenge, wanting to recruit a common arm as tenacious as he is. The mistal lad is Lou Reek. Lou Reek. Don't be fooled by his doughy cheeks. He is a hard hunt hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. There's Siri. Rig. Word is, he seeks an expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. Last, we have have Giot. Dwarf and drunkard both. Wanted to join forces with a healer, and only a healer. Went about needing a mender's wisdom. I've seen my share of uh, competent veterans, and you have that look about you. Maybe you can should introduce yourself to one of your... Our hunters, who knows? Together you might even collect the bounty on a cardinal virtue. Now that's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar we're in if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. You gain access to roll quests, a separate quest line, and story is now available for tank, physical DPS, medical DPS, and healer rolls. In order to reach the final stages of Shadowbringer's main scenario, you must complete at least one roll quest line. Speak with virtue, a virtue hunter in the wandering step the stairs to accept a quest offer. However, uh, I've streamed long enough. Oh, sorry about that. So we're going to. I'm going to cut it. We will get into. Uh, in fact, I think. The let's cycle through. So we got. And where, where's Branson? Branson's. There we go. Now I can see him. There we go. The all four. Let's zoom out a little bit more. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. One here. One here. One here. One here. So I'm currently in Monk, who's physical DPS. So Low Reek here, or Lou Reek, would be the physical DPS one. I'm gonna switch over to. Gunbreaker. This is Tank. Granson over here has the the Tank Girl quest. Available to me because I'm appropriate level. Turn over to Astrologen, a healer, and Gyat has that. And Red Mage over here. So we got it. Alright, so we will do that next time. But first, I want to complete the Warrior of Darkness quest. Uh, I thought about it. So these are, these are side things I could technically do at any time. But they told me to go back to my room. Welcome back, sir. I wonder if anybody can sleep with this city in such an uproar, but you'll be returning to your quarters. Yes. Prior to, to your, our quarters. And turn up the volume because it's cutscene. Very good. In light.
Um, of the present situation, I have had illumination prepared for all our rooms. No need to rush to the markets for land boots or cannons. Have a pleasant rest of So it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. No, I, I, I don't think you'd be offended with him because he, we, we, we've seen him previously, so I would say I've been watching, have you? Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmore and then on to Armarang, and I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Of course, he says it in, in the, I suppose, the intended route was to go through Alphano, then Alize. Really, they should have had this, like, recorded two different ways, because I went to Amarang then Yulmore. <laughs> Yeah, he had a little timey wimey thing by going in the wrong direction. Honestly, just notice that. Those white haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. So when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. And not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder. What will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. So this is what the light was hiding. He's here. I must go to him. Meanwhile, inside an Imperial Magitek facility in the source. Intruders! Fan out and find them! Out of my way! Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death? 
Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear their receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Euretha. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs and they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease, much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Sir Istinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. I am aware of what his radiance said at the Parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. And that's where we'll leave it. Ah, man, I'm hungry. Thank you all for watching. First chapter. Going to the first dungeon for the first two levels of Shadowbringers. More to come, including uh, unlocks for doing the roll quest. But, but uh, I believe we'll probably try to do that tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow comes out loud. We're streaming. I don't remember what the topic. We're doing a. Uh, I think about what we're doing. Anyways, there's the dragons tomorrow too. Oh god, I need to prepare for that. Anyways, good night, kids.